Ashgate wished in here and said it for you. The mafia, the mafia, the mafia, the mafia. Oh, we can it hit the slime if you know what's good for you. Hey everybody, welcome back to Coffee with Colada. It is Saturday, the 12th of September, and uh, thank you guys for jumping on to uh, get a weekly update. I'm going to let you guys know what's happening, and let's take a look here. I want to do a quick shout out though to Cindy Workman, because Cindy, I'm going to show you guys her collection. She has got an unbelievable Colada collection. So I'm going to show some pictures if she lets me anyway, I'm going to ask her, but thanks a lot, Cindy, for all the support on the uh, channel. Really do appreciate it. Hey, Elizabeth, how's it going? Love up to San Francisco and uh, Hank Hill. Oh, everybody's here today. Excellent. Space Monkey. How you doing today? Sean Pender. Okay. Everybody's joining us. Hello to Wisconsin, Timothy. You're probably the one that wants Frank's Green Bay Packers uh, chair. <laughs> hey, Bob, how's it going? How you guys doing, Scott H? So um, first, a big uh, thank you to all of you from this, that you guys left, all the support, all of the kind words and wishes. Um, Joe thanks you guys a ton. Um, thank you very much, Cindy. I appreciate you. You're great. <laughs> Love you. Um, so, Lewis, give you a quick update. I'm waiting on Lewis right now. He was supposed to be here, and he was going to be live with me today. But he got stuck in traffic. So, not a big deal, but uh, Lewis has been working on the bus. So, he's getting the tour bus ready for the uh, for the big trip. And um, and um, Jim Van Boos, Boos Kirk, find a day job, Adam. Show's not the same. Jim, don't watch it if you don't like it, buddy. It's okay with me. Change the channel. Watch something else. Do something else. Um, uh, anyway, Lewis has been working on the bus, and he's been putting in a lot of time uh, onto the bus, getting everything ready. So um, we're going to be shooting some more videos today. I'm going to take um, a tour of the bus next week. So some some point... Um, at some point, I'm going to be posting a video of the uh, the tour of the bus, hopefully by Wednesday. I'm thinking we'll do the tour on, um, you're going to see the guy who looks like Walter White, Brian, uh, Brian Cranston. His name's Tom, and he I'm going to have him on this Monday at 2 p.m. So in a couple of days, he'll be on, and uh, you're going to see who he is. It's going to be the first episode that we're putting on coffee with Colada that we aren't talking about Frank. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see what you guys think of it, but he is an interesting guy. Yeah, he's a, he's a really good guy. Impressionist, I should say. Anyway, um, a lot of people are asking some questions like um, was Frank cremated? What happened out of respect to his family? Um, I'm not at Liberty right now to say anything as to what um, took place or what's going to take place. But I can tell you guys this, because of the COVID, because we're in the middle of a pandemic, it's really hard to say, hey, everybody, let's get together. I know this because um, I know this because my father just passed. And, and again, we we'd love to do something right now, but it's it's tough. So um, anyway, like I say, out of respect to the family, I don't want to say anything. Um, <clears throat> a real sportsman, this channel is the shit well thank you very much i thought you said this channel shit i was gonna i was gonna rip into you guess not thank you very much uh i hope that you come to vegas and i hope that you uh take the tour with um me or lewis hey bronze snake walleye buddy if i want to go up there and i want to go fishing with you at some point because you seem like a pretty cool dude um okay so we're going to talk to tom on monday and he's going to do some impressions for us, a little uh, little Dean Martin, a little Christopher Watkins. Uh, he's, a, he's a fun guy, what can I say? 
Okay, upcoming episodes. I was just working in the office. I was just sitting here working on a new episode. And it's going to be a little different than what I've done in the past. So I'm trying to let the creative juices flow. Everybody have a great day. Love you too. Um, this is different. It's going to be a video about Mad Sam. We're going to have some, some footage of Frank talking about Mad Sam. We're going to have a ton of photos. We're going to have a little backtrack. We're going to have some voiceover. Um, it's, it's going to be a very entertaining video. At least I hope so. So you guys are going to have to let me know once we get that put up. Um, and if there's anything else that you want to see, uh, if there's anything else you guys want to see or see a video about, you'll have to let me know uh, in the comments or in the sections below. So um, private tours are coming soon. We will be back up and running. I just mentioned that Lewis and I uh, will be doing them. And uh, we'll let you guys know once we start doing those again. We're also going to be putting up with this Mad Sam episode, a special Mad Sam coffee cup. And we've almost got the, the details laid out as to what it's going to say on the back. But believe me, if you guys know anything about Mad Sam and about what he did to Agent Romer, you could probably imagine what the back of the coffee cup's going to say. Okay, so uh, with all that said... How much does the tour cost to Timothy Foster? Once we're able to open back up to a ticketed event, meaning we can sell tickets uh, to the general public, um, they'll be about $100 to $150. Uh, um, anyhow, that's what it's going to be like whenever we, uh, uh, <clears throat> when we get it reopened and going. But until then, like I said, the private tours are going to be a little more expensive. It's the only way we'll be able to... Uh, uh, it's the only way we'll be able to get them going. So, okay, did you guys watch the episode? The last myself doing a Zoom, and if you did, I'll, Dennis Connolly, go to frankpalada.com to buy a coffee cup. If you did watch the episode with Denny, what did you guys think? I want to hear your opinions, and um, because we're gonna have Denny on some more, love it. Let's see. Good. So you guys like to like, or you guys are liking what we, what we did. Excellent. So we're gonna do some more of that. Um, if you guys have questions for Denny, uh, put them in the comments of this video. Okay. You don't have to be watching it live to put in the, uh, the comments. Uh, just leave them if you're watching this. Uh, you know, after it's gone live. But put the questions in because I'm gonna have him on some more. Um, good. Scott H. Glad he's on the project. I'm glad he's on the project too, because I'll tell you what, when you sit down to write something and something is extensive is what we're, we're working on. It's pretty cool to, uh, to have somebody like him working. Timothy have Denny Arnoldy and Dennis Arnoldy. So yes, uh, I spoke with Dennis Arnoldy about it and, um, yeah. I spoke with him about being on, and he he'd like to do it. So hopefully, um, hopefully we can have him on at some point. It's just right now it's a little difficult for him and I to get an interview in because of the COVID. So um, he's trying to stay away from people in general, and I can understand that. So uh, <clears throat> I'd like to have him on though. That seems like it'd be good. Yes. So Denny Griffin does go way back with uh, Frank. Colada. I mean, if you guys listen to the episode and how they met and whatnot, they had a lot of interactions. I know for a long time they were, you know, I mean, they're very, very tight, the two of them, and uh, lots of stories. So I'm glad that uh, you're enjoying it, Timothy. Um, thanks for the comment. Uh, John Garrett, you don't have that kind of money, so you guess you can't go on the tour with you guys. Well, if you can't afford 100 bucks a ticket, you shouldn't come to Vegas. I mean, and I'm not saying that to be mean, John. I'm just saying, I mean, a show ticket and Vegas ticket and a tour which is going to last two, maybe three hours. See what I did right there? Two, maybe three. Anyway, um, it's, a, it's a lot on our end with insurance and liability and whatnot. Uh, tour business isn't exactly the easiest business and yeah, Scott H., you're right. 100 bucks is extremely reasonable. And again, private tour, 
Yeah, maybe it'll be 150, 200, but it's going to be a uh, Sean Pender. You'd give 200. Good. See, that's what we're thinking about doing. Like I say, for us to make money and be able to do it, it's going to be, um, yeah, it's going to be difficult. Okay, so let's see. Uh, <laughs> yes, we're going to keep Frank's page up and running. Um, not a, uh, no issues there. And that's going to be on frankcolada.com. Frank com. So you can check the page out. There are, is going to be some merchandise added. But we aren't we aren't putting the merchandise up on the site just yet. We got the pizza boxes. Like again, these are these are autographed books that are fingerprinted and autographed. We'll be putting those up. And we also have coffee cups. Frank and I, when we first started the channel, before we did the whole thing with Teespring, where Basically, you guys are buying the cups from a third party. Um, you're buying them from a third party. So they're printing them, they're shipping them, they're packaging them. When we first started, we ended up um, ordering a set of, I forget, 30 or 40 cups. Frank gave a few away, I gave a few away, but we kept 20 of them and we numbered them one through 20 and Frank autographed the cup. So they're the... The, the original cup that we did with the prescribed subscribe on the back of it. And um, uh, anyhow, we, we, we numbered them and we put them, we put them up. So those will be up on the site as well for sale. And we have a couple of the memorabilia ideas that we're putting together. Uh, Frank has a, a friend and his friend, his friend is in California. His name's Art. Was Frank really a minister? Was he really a... So yes, Frank was a minister. I have his little, you know, the little clergy thing that hang in the in the mirror if you go to the hospital and whatnot, and his certificate. Uh, it was a very proud day, Art said, when he got his certificate and became an ordained minister. Now, he didn't go to, uh, you know, um, he didn't have to go to school, you know, to become the men, um, you after you do it, you can marry people. And it, he still thought it was a really honorable thing to have. Uh, and he was excited to have that certificate saying that he was a minister. So his first wedding he did performed, there's a story behind it. And I was going to talk to Lewis today about the story because Lewis was there. Unlike he is here right now, Lewis, you know, I'm just messing with you. Um, so Lewis was there, Art was there, and Art videotaped this. And let's say it wasn't the smoothest wedding, okay? It was in his first time. And here's the other thing. You cannot script Frank Collada. You just weren't able to. That's why the whole prescribed thing started. Because I sat him down and said, Frank, here's what I want you to say. I want you to say, don't, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And, uh, and, and, and give us a thumbs up and a... And I tried to do that. And he, it was more than one sentence, he was like, done. Nah, you're giving me too much. No way. Kozak. Aloha, buddy. <laughs> Good to see you, man. Thanks for watching. Um, Koz is a magician friend of mine. If you're in Hawaii, go see him. He's got a cool show. Cozy, Koz, Kona Cozy. And it's in, uh, it's in, anyway. Go check out his show. He's awesome. Really good guy. Anyway, you couldn't script Frank Collada. He was just, uh, he, he had his own words. He had his own words. He had his own language, you could even say. And anyway, so that's what they tried to do. Is that they gave him a script to read and go through, and it just didn't, didn't work out. So we have the footage of it. Um, or should I say we're, we, we're going to see if we can have the footage of it. And... Uh, Anyway, we'll talk more about that. But yes, Frank did several weddings. I know a lot of you were asking, you know, uh, a lot of you were asking, did you, know, did you do it for this? That Anyway, he, he married several couples. So there's a few pictures floating around out there of him doing weddings in front of the uh, filming location from Casino, um, the house. So anyway. John Garrett, you need some money to go to Las Vegas. So give me a credit card right now. I want to go and you're going to pay it. I'm going to pay for you to come here? Is that what you're saying? Like you want me to give you money to come here to Vegas. See, because 
That's not really how it works, John. The way it works is, is you come up with a way to make money and then you make money. You don't just, you know, take. So you know, looking for something for free here. Anyway, set up a tent, Timothy. Meet me in front of the chicken house. You guys are, uh, you guys are pretty, uh, these are pretty damn funny. Did Frank get the recipe book together? Bronze Snake, you want to know if the recipe book's together. So, um, yes, it is together. As a matter of fact, um, as a matter of fact, I was speaking with Denny um, Griffin a few weeks. It was a few weeks before Frank passed. It was the beginning of August. And he told me that it went off to the publisher and that it was getting published and it was getting worked on. And, uh, and I told Frank that it was one of the last things he wanted to make sure that he got done, he got finished, was that cookbook. And I, I let him know that it was off to the editor and it was being worked on. So, yes, it's going to come out. Adam, are you going to let the people on the bus tour or well, are you going to let the people go on the bus tour or is it going to be a BW of video? Wow, I... I don't even understand what you mean by that. Is it going to be? A, is it going to be a video? Oh, is the tour going to be a video? Okay, good question, John. So, both. We're going to actually have a private tour that you can go on, but a few weeks. Well, I shouldn't say a few weeks. A few months ago. We set up a GoPro Fusion 360 camera inside of our tour van and we set it right next to frank on the seat and he sat next to the camera and literally placed the camera for about three hours while we do the tour uh and when i say plays to the camera i mean he sits there and talks to the camera so so if i don't know if you guys know what this is let me pull this out if you guys have a a VR headset that you could pop on. You see, it puts a screen in front of your face and you're able to look around and it feels like you're sitting next to him in the vehicle. So you feel like Frank's sitting right here and you could do the tour and sit there and do it. So we're going to do it virtually, like I say, and we're also going to do a physical tours. So if you guys are out here and you want to do it, um, you can do it. So, or if you aren't out here, like John, for instance, if you can't afford to come to Vegas, maybe you just want to do the virtual tour from where you are. Okay, Matthew Flores, what was Frank and Tony's dinner of choice? Always wanted to ask Frank what Tony would order from a nice place. A bit. Um, I think two weeks ago, I did a live out in front of the Golden Steer. That was one of the places that Tony frequented quite a bit. And that was something that he uh, liked to eat. So that's what I know from buy a gift at the museum. Well, buy a gift over on frankcolata.com. And um, you don't even have to, to, to go to the museum at that point. You can just buy a gift. You go on the tour and buy a gift here. But you should go to the museum because the museum is pretty cool. Um, I can't lie. Their, uh, their setup's really nice there. Give yourselves a few hours to um, give yourselves a few hours to go through the museum. Cindy Workman, hi Adam. Would it be possible that you and Lewis do the private tour together? Yes, there is that possibility, and you can have both of us on the tour. Yes, of course. Um, are you pitching your book to movie people? So there's two things. I don't want to tell you the second project. The first project. Hold on one second. So, John, this, and I'm not doing a commercial for these guys, but this is an Oculus Quest. And no, you don't have to hook this to the computer. Uh, it, it hooks up Wi-Fi, and uh, and you use the controllers in your hands to navigate, you know, look around and whatnot. Um, so that's how we're You can also hook it to the computer. It does have a, um, a port on it that you can hook to the computer. So if you want more. I don't even know what the point of that is, to be honest with you. So I've only had this thing for about six months. But when I first got it, I said, oh, my gosh, we got to shoot a video with Frank. So Shy LaBeouf should play Adam in the Frank Collada movie. OK, so I'll tease it a little. The miniseries. 
it's going to be um, four to six seasons. We haven't figured out exactly how many, but four to six seasons. And we're going to put that together. We're going to pitch it. It's definitely going to like We have a second project, though, and it's not a miniseries. It's a movie. And it's not, it's not about Frank and Tony necessarily. It's more centered on just Frank. Okay, Frank, an amazing story at the end of his life. Um, I think about it, mobster to minister. That's not the name of it or anything, but it's it's a, quite the interesting story because for whatever reason, um, after Frank passed away, I started hearing all kinds of things from different people and I went, this is a story. So that's the other thing that we're gonna work on. I'm gonna hit the museum for sure. Really wanted to meet Frank in person. Um, okay, so yeah, I hope that you do. Um, Pipe Dream would be a good title. Hmm. Okay, Wesley, Stream Snipes, interesting. Are you going to record the tour later or put it on YouTube? John, didn't I? I thought I just explained it. It's been recorded. It's going to be on YouTube. How we're going to do that and when we're going to do that, we aren't saying just yet. But I can tell you this much. To do the virtual tour, it's not going to be free. It's not just going to be. We'll make, put little snippets and stuff for you to, to look at. Do any of you out there even have a VR headset? Let me just ask you that. Because maybe that's not even, I mean, you could watch it on a flat screen. You don't have to be in VR. You can use your mouse to go back and forth around around the um, screen and look around. Okay, D.W. Lang, yes, Scott H., you do. Okay, wow, okay, some people do. Um, Adam, if you're in the movie, you should play yourself. No, I do, I don't. Mickey Griggs, you don't. Sean Penn does. Rick Danger, nope. See, so maybe we'll make a deal. If you guys want to, maybe you'd want to do the tour, and maybe you would want to have a VR headset. Um, VR headsets are kind of cool. Even if you're not into gaming, you can jump into VR, go into different rooms, talk to people. I know when this pandemic thing started and I wasn't able to go out, I used... Uh, yeah. Yeah, um, I use it just to escape, you know, and get out for a minute. You have PS4 VR, Electra Show. I have PS4 VR as well. That's a smile of gaming, though. That's just something I like to do. Not a, lately, though, I haven't been. I got Last of Us Part Two, and I haven't even gotten into it. But yes, I miss Frank, too. We all miss Frank. Uh, Jeff DeVito, nice steak at the steer. Sounds good. It is good. Gary Adaza, what was Frank's favorite casino? Um, Frank had a lot of favorite casinos. I think wherever people were um, wanting, wanting to go for dinner was his favorite place. So that's my best answer for you. Um, Lewis might have a better idea of where um, Frank, where Frank, uh, you to hang a lot. Uh, no, John Garrett. I mean, the tour you're going to go on next Monday. Oh, John. Yes, I'm going to put the tour of the of the tour bus. It's a look at that. It's a tour of a tour bus, and that's going to be um, probably Wednesday that you guys will see that Wednesday at two. We're trying to do Monday, Wednesday, Saturday live all at two. Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, live at 2. So, my guess is, is that my dogs are barking, and that would indicate that Lewis has arrived. So, I'm going to cut this short, guys. Um, I'll just answer a couple of more questions. The Tangiers. Yeah, that was Frank's favorite. There you go. Uh, any chance to find those guys when Frank was in Texas? I don't know. Just found a Riviera ashtray, okay. Um, wow. Later on, Jeff. Oh, when he was working in Texas. Oh, um, you mean you mean the guys that recognized him from from uh, 
when he was at had the car dealership or was working at the car dealership it's probably what you mean see you timothy thanks for watching dw lane hmm subscribe prescribe don't be a jag off hit the button thanks guys we'll see you next see you next week